Hey everybody, uh, normally I would want to be posting a, a bigger science video than this, but uh, given that it takes me so darn long to get these things done, I really like to start getting these things out to you guys, uh, I've decided I'm just going to start doing little tiny videos like this. Now these here are uh, Saracenia, they're pitcher plants, these are uh, New World pitcher plants. Uh, I'll hopefully do a video over these in the future that's a lot more detailed, but I just couldn't help but show you guys something very interesting about these. See, these guys here trap insects, they eat them. See, normally in the wild, they, uh, they live in environments that are so nutrient poor, the soil it just has nothing in them for them, that they have to look to another source for, uh, for nutrients. So they actually have evolved uh, traps out of their leaves. These are leaves, even though they are tube-like. Uh, they've evolved these traps to actually trap insects. Not only do they have the trap, but they actually secrete little, uh, little sticky masses of... Uh, uh, of like a, a syrup, kind of like an attractant, you know, like like abating their trap. And uh, the idea is that the insects will, will fly along, smell it, they'll land on the edge here, and uh, they get in here and they'll actually fall in because uh, the inside surface is kind of waxy and once you get far enough down, there are actually little hairs that point downwards to, uh, to stop the insects from getting back out. But uh, I just thought it was very, very interesting to see how effective these traps actually are. These here are really small. Uh, when, when, they're, when they're fully grown, these things could be up to, you know, two feet long. Uh, giant leaves big enough to stick, you know, a mouse in, you know, if, if uh, potentially a mouse falls in, you know, they, they might try to, they might be able to eat that if the mouse doesn't chew his way out first. But uh, either way, these, these right here are very small. Uh, this one here being the biggest, it's just big enough, you could probably stick a pencil in it. But the very interesting thing here is, is that as small as these are, they've actually started eating insects, right? Thing, insects have actually made their way into it. If you look on some of these here, you can actually see through the, uh, the illumination of the leaf here, uh, little little dark spots down here, and that, that would be uh, uh, gnats, you know, little fruit flies that have made their way into these things. Uh, but in the case of this one here, and specifically this one, this is what actually got me to want to make this video for you guys in the first place. There is a fly, a house fly, that has shoved himself into this little tube down here, right? Like he, something about these things, they work so well that they've actually made the insects seemingly suicidal. These little things will, I mean, he, he, if you look down in here, you can just barely see the ends of his wings. That he, he's been in there for a couple of days now. He's not getting out. I'm not even sure if he can actually properly be digested at that height, but but it's just amazing that these things are so effective that the insects basically will shove themselves willingly into these tubes just just to because to, they think they're getting some kind of food out of it and then they end up you know dying and, and being digested by the plant these things are just just really amazing plants you know they might not move like a venus flytrap but they they are still very very interesting plants and if you've got gnat problems or fly problems in your house you might try growing a couple of these I mean, they do better outside in full sun, but uh, you never know. You get a bright sunny window where you always have flies buzzing around in there, and uh, these guys will probably take care of them really quickly. All right. So until next time, see you later.